Well, hi everybody, and welcome to a special early start edition of Moodle Support Theater here at HSU. If you're going to use Moodle as part of the early start program this summer, you're going to have to understand how to log in to Moodle. So let's show you how to do that. We're here at the main page of HSU, and we'd like you to, at the very top of the page, it says Humboldt State University, look just to the right, and you'll see Log Into My Humboldt. Go ahead and click on that. Use the username and password you were provided, and press Log In. That'll take you to the My Humboldt page. Now, if you're going to be continuing here at HSU, you're going to want to spend a little time looking around. But for today, let's come to the upper right-hand corner, and you see a number of options to choose. There's Gmail, all kinds of things for students. You want to select the button that says Moodle. Go ahead and click the Moodle button, and you'll be taken to My Home. Now, My Home should have any courses you have enrolled in, such as Early Start Writing or Early Start Math. Maybe you're doing one, maybe you're doing both. What we're going to be talking about is the Early Start Student Guide. Go ahead and give that a click, and you'll be taken to our demonstration. Here's a basic Moodle page. Now, right here in the center, the big wide area, is where all of the good stuff is, all of your course content. I'm going to scroll down now that we'll talk about this stuff at the top in a second, but let's scroll down and we see getting started, getting help, who you're going to call, uh, some of the updated features, what to expect when you click on things, and we're going to be adding some quick guides to answer any questions you may have. Now, if you look in the right hand column, you're going to see contact information. For example, there's help information, email, there's quick mail. This allows you to send mail to both your instructor and other persons in the class. And depending on how your class is set up, you may see activities or people with participant information. Over here in the left-hand column, there's not a whole lot to deal with, but one thing you may be interested in is My Profile Settings. Click on My Profile Settings and choose Edit Profile. Some people like to put a photo in, and that's perfectly all right. We do ask at the very top, this top portion, you leave everything alone except if you want to put your city and town in there. That's absolutely fine. Please don't change the email address because you're going to break your connection with Moodle, and leave your username and regular name alone. It's going to cause some difficulty uh, with Moodle, and you don't want to get booted out of something you just got into. Let's come down where it says User Picture. Give that a click, and you see that box with the blue arrow moving up and down? You can simply drag a photo into that area, and when people see your name, your photo will pop up next to it. Now, you are limited in your size. You don't want to make this a very huge picture like that thing of you at uh, Yosemite. It's just way too big. Keep this like you'd put on a Facebook page, and you're going to be fine. Come to the bottom, choose Update Profile, and you're ready to go. To get back to the main page, let's come to the upper left-hand corner, and you'll notice a group of things uh, showing like profile, etc., etc. Come over to where it says Early Start Guide. These are called breadcrumbs. Please click Early Start Guide, and you will return to your main Moodle page. Now, the center section is very important. The browser of choice the browser we request you use is Firefox for both Mac and PC. Chrome will work in PCs, but other uh, such as Internet Explorer do not work well with Moodle and you can actually lose some data. So please use the recommended browser and look through all of these uh, best practices. It'll save you a lot of frustration. Two other things uh, to remind you of. Let's scroll down just a little bit to who you're going to call. If you're going to call the help desk for Moodle help, make sure it's a technical question. For example, I cannot get a file to upload. 
That's a Moodle question. If you have an assignment issue, please contact your professor. For example, I don't understand what you mean by question five. We are not allowed to answer faculty-oriented questions. So please speak to your professor directly on that. The other thing, let's come all the way to the top of the page, and you'll notice we have like site news, Moodle support. Let's drop down Moodle support, and you'll see the student guide. That's a more expanded version of what you have here. And if you need more help or have more questions, select Student Guide. You'll be asked to enroll in the Student Guide. And there is no cost, there is no credit. This is just additional help that is available for you. Once you're in there, you'll see many of the same things you're seeing here and some more in-depth information for full-time students. OK, let's come back to our uh, Early Start Student Guide page, and we'll log out from here. I would point out to you that where you found this video and this information, right under it, there's a section on drag and drop. Go ahead and uh, spend two minutes looking on that. It's a very good feature, which you can literally, as you did with your photo, drag your photo into Moodle. You can also upload assignments from your desktop that way. So please take two minutes and Look at that. It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. Have a great summer. Thank you for being part of Early Start. And remember, we're here to help.